Assuming I can hit the right button. Uh, that might work a little bit. No, that might work a little bit better. All right, here's what we're looking at. We are looking at the front of the airplane. Now, what I'm doing on this one, because you run like maybe a 10-6 prop on a 40 size glow motor, it might be a 9-6, 10-6 prop. The one that I'm running, I'm going to be running most likely a 12-8. Uh, could be APC, could be a wooden one, it doesn't matter at this point. So I had to come out, because before I decide on where I'm going to set the landing gear up, I've got to see how high this thing needs to sit up off the ground. So, when it's on the ground with the back tail on the wheel, it's going to be nose high. Uh, my thing is once I get it up a takeoff before I hit rotation speed, how high is the prop going to be off the ground? So if we went with a 12 inch, 6 inches is right down here. So 12 inches, you're not cutting the grass, you're cutting dirt. So, um, it's going to have to go up. It's going to have to come up. Uh, I measured my De Havilland DH71, and the De Havilland uses the same motor, same prop. The wheels, from the bottom of the wing to the ground, is 6 inches, just, just under 6 inches. Right now, the way these things sit is at 3.5. So, 6 inches is way down here. I think I can get away with about five inches. So if I drop this down somewhere around inch and a half uh, lower than this, I should be able to make it work because that will bring me down inch and a half. So that would bring me down to here when it's up level and that gives me pretty much an inch and a half, not quite two inches, but an inch and a half of clearance with the prop in the ground. And that should be, that should be more than enough uh, for what, whoa, wrong way, that should be more than enough uh, room. So now what I'm going to have to do is we'll take this part and we're going to fold it up. So roll it up. Now I'm going to have to figure out how, where I'm going to have to put the, uh, the retract here. Uh, because when I was originally doing everything, sorry about that, when I was originally doing everything, the, the initial setup, um, Everything was on paper. Nothing was being, nothing, there was nothing you could put your hands on. So I didn't know exactly just from the plans where I was going to need to be. And it's at this point when you've got to make the decision on is this in the right spot? Because I may have to move it over. So let me get a little Mr. GoPro set up with the hopes that it will not let me down. GoPro, begin recording. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. It's a fickle little animal. All right, I got quite a bit of stuff taken care of. Uh, I've got something very important I've got to do next. I've got to build the uh, the retrack here. So let me show you where I'm up to right now. And then I've got everything set up. And it's time to start heating and bending and hopefully... Uh, it's going to work out nice because I'm not going to bend one at a time. I'm bending both of them at the same time with a little bit of fudge room um, because it's going to be easy enough to cut off to shorten one end than to shorten the other end. So because once you've got that L bracket going in or the, the L shape part going in to hold the wheel on, um, that you really can't mess with because uh, you can't shorten that. So you got to shorten the other end. So um, I've already got a little bit of a drawing. I'll show you guys on the other camera. And uh, with the hopes that all will, with the hopes that all will progress nicely. All right, here is where we are at. Uh, here is the little uh, landing gear, the electronic uh, retrack setup, and I can flip it over and show you. But it's it's as, as things progress through this, you'll you'll get another uh, opportunity to look at it. All right, so this one is completely in. Here is. The, uh, the doublers I put in. I put a doubler on this side and then I put a doubler on this side. So this is rock solid. This piece here I also put a doubler on because on the other end of it, the bottom side of it, I've got a cut part of it. So I wanted to have it double strong. Now the, the little issue I was having with how much length I needed, I wanted to be at least five on the low end. I wanted to be closer to five and a half. With having this one all the way backed up against it, and having everything stretched out, here is the point 
where the hinge is. So this will be, so let's just say that this will be the point that when the gear is, is, is extended, um, it'll be from this point. So we're looking from this point to this point down here on the tire. And where we're looking at is just a, just a little over five and a half inches. So that'll be fine. That's, I'm not going to have an issue with that at all. So that's kind of about where I wanted to be. And so that problem has been taken care of. Now, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And let me show you the drawing I made. Okay, here's the, here's the gear upside down. So if you want to put it right side up, we'll put it right side up so you got a better indication. This is what I'm making. This piece comes out. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm bending. I've got the wire right here which is 530 seconds and believe it or not 530 seconds and four millimeters about two thousandths of an inch apart so it'll work just fine so so that's our little tire there's a the landing gear so the landing gear is going to come out the the rod's going to come out from about yay long and then right here is where it's going to bend and even though it looks like it's i'm bending it i'm cutting part of the spar this is the top spar it was the bottom spar that i moved so this will be partially under it be like right along that edge of the uh of the upper spar so that's fine so we're going to come down about this far right here and then that's where the bend's going to be so the bend's going to be just as we get to this uh um just as we get to the rib so i'm going to be removing a, a nice little section of that just so that everything fits nicely and then i still have to put the new uh, box framework up in here to to screw in this side so but anyway i want to work on getting the landing gear the rods done so this is going to come through like this get bent over at 90 run over to here get bent it it's pretty close to a 45 uh, i'm using this as a template um, just to see about how much i've got to bend so i'll make something a little bit a harder template that we can take a look at when i'm bending that part so but anyway so so that's about it, and I think it's time to uh, get out the torch and start bending. Got a little bucket of water around the corner just to cool it down. All right, that's pretty much the first bend. And that's gonna go through the wheel. And that's what everything will spin nicely on. So what I'll do is I'm gonna come on in and right in here later on, uh, I'm gonna uh, pretty much solder a washer on just so I've got a flat spot for that to come up against and then that won't bind up on me. So and this end, like I said, is oversized, but I'll put a lock collar uh, with a grub screw uh, on this side of it just to hold it from, from backing out. All right, and this is how it's done. Hopefully, I've got a little jig set up and I know the angle, I've got the angles marked off where I've got to go to. I originally did some farther out not realizing that it was kind of not the whole you had to you had to draw this from a different angle so you live you learn but uh, no mistakes have been made yet all right just a matter of quickly heating it up and bending it
Alright, let's take a look. It's looking pretty darn good to me. Alright. As you can see, we're pretty much lined up with the little marks that I drew. So we'll get uh, we'll get everything somewhat put together and see if I can get one of these things screwed in or get both of the uh, recheck motors screwed in and uh, give them a test run. Maybe. Alright, after a long hard day of getting a lot and not much at the same time accomplished I uh, my delusions of grandeur thought I could be a lot farther along than, than I really am with the with the build right now so let me show you what I got done because I did make two of the uh, I don't know where the other one's at uh, the, the landing gear the wires sorry about that um, and although it looked really nice, it was too low. And what I mean sitting too low, because it was upside down, it was sitting too high. So I wouldn't be able to sheet the top of the wing. So I needed to split the difference. I've got probably, I'm going to have probably about an eighth inch of room top and eighth inch of room bottom. So I've got to try to split that little gap. And unfortunately, what I did was I made a quick little adjustment. And uh, I went too far up. I came up way too far so I mean it's it would still work but now the tire would still be under the covering uh, but the rod won't and I, I can make that adjustment I mean if you want to take a look at it if I turn the power on um, I mean it is working so I just have to uh, I've got enough rod and if I don't, I'll just have to get a small rod. Um, I know, I know what I did wrong, and I know the proper measurements because now I know what I uh, I have to have. So the other one, the other one worked. It was so close to working. I was probably I don't know about a sixteenth of an inch uh, over. And if I added washers to this up in the front, it would just, you know, it would work, but it, I wasn't happy. Because um, I want it to fit like it's supposed to. So, um, yeah. Failure number one on the plane. Probably one of many. Whenever you bash a kit, you, you spend more time thinking uh, and less time working. So anyway, that always seems to be my mantra anyway, is that... Uh, you have to overanalyze everything, and it's what I do best. So, so anyway, um, we're going to pretty much call this a day, and uh, I'll just uh, come down probably tomorrow after work, and uh, we'll work on try to get that uh, those landing gear, the rods, um, done. So if I can get both of those done tomorrow night, um, then there's not too much I mean this is the hardest part about this wing is getting this done and then it's just a matter of starting the sheet and then uh, start shaving the front when you're when you're out here with little block planes sanding discs sanding, it's, it's gonna take I'm hoping to have the I'm hoping to spend about an hour sanding the leading edge of the wing and have it done that's I'm hoping on an hour so anyway see you next time down in the shop And that was never recording. Hmm. All right, I may have to do a little bit of an intro. All right, welcome back to try to fix my little debacle from the other day. Uh, when I started off bending the electric gear, uh, these were the rods that were done. And this, although it looks very nice and it worked, you weren't going to be able to sheet the top because the the wheel itself was 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 proud of the top of the the rib. So uh, I tried to make a quick little adjustment just to get an offset into it. So that way it's not straight; it's just an offset. Um, and there we go. 
offset was too much. It did the exact opposite. It was good on the bottom, and you you wouldn't be able to, or excuse me, it was good on the top, but you wouldn't be able to sheet the bottom. So I'm trying to split the gap between the two. So let's go ahead, and we've got uh, we've got some new wire. Let's go ahead and get started. Over here, we are going to take. Let me get, see if I can get this better. There we go. We're going to take the piece of metal. We'll get it nice and hot. And when I say we, special guest today, Paul Urquhart. Invisible, off camera. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this nice and hot. Lower it down inside there so that it's level. And then we're going to go ahead and compress it with the hopes that it will, uh, it will make that little bit of a bend. So let's get started. I might as well just jump on up and get ready to help start twisting that thing in to see at least get it snug. All right, go ahead and start snugging it up. Yeah, it may have to be closer. All right, it was attempt number one. We're not done yet. I think it's gonna have to be a little bit more than that though. What we're looking at, and I don't know if you can see through the picture here, I'm trying to get this set up so that when it comes up in here, it's not gonna be that abrupt of an offset, but that's the offset I'm looking for. So that one is gonna be pretty darn close. We're gonna go ahead, heat it up, and uh, we'll move the two little uh, L brackets closer together and crank it down and see if we can get that just a little bit sharper. Slowly, slowly, hang on. All right, crank it. Oh, really? that's so darn close. We may end up getting a bigger, we may end up getting a bigger vice up on the table, but I think that's gonna give us what we're looking for. I'm hoping. That might be pretty good. may work. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get half half of that bend. There we go. So what we're trying to do is this is about a quarter inch bend. It's too much of an offset and what we want to do is we want to offset this half of that. So it's going to be offset at pretty much about the thickness of the uh, the wire and we're pretty close on that and that might work if I can get you in a decent little location. We're pretty close to halfway on that. I think that's going to be just fine. So we'll go ahead and I don't know if I want to bend this. I'm going to get the bigger vise up and we'll try it one more time just to see if we can get that a little bit tighter. And then uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the final bends and see how well that's going to work uh, for landing gear before we start cutting the other side. So I'll bring you right back. As you can see, we changed over to a bigger vise and uh, put some little spacers in between. So we're having a little bit bigger of an offset because that's pretty good. Um, and I should probably leave it like that, but I, I, I'm a fool, I don't do that. That's actually probably all it should be. So we'll just go and check it with it. Snuggy it up. Yeah, it didn't seem like it did really too much. I mean, it's already it's already cooled off. To try to get that last little bit out of it is, I think it's good. You can see we still have got the gap there, mm -hmm. and it cooled off too much, so it's just the spring tension. Water. 
Agua. There. Stir it, it's done. Okay, now we've got our offset where we're running probably about an eighth inch. It's, it's, I'm hoping it's gonna be better than it is. I gotta see how this one works out. I'd like to make another one, but I wanna see how this one works out because I've only got a little over a foot of this wire left. So if this does not work, I'm gonna have to go get more wire. So that's what I'm trying to, I wanna get this done now, now. So let's go ahead and we'll get the bench, the bench pretty much uh, set back up to the way. We'll, so we'll use a smaller one uh, vise and then we'll get the rest of the stuff bent back into shape and then we'll cut it off and then we'll see how it fits. And I forgot I got to put, of course, a Y. So I'm going to have to have extensions coming out to this. To the center, then a Y going in. Okay, you want to see your little cross? Something more bigger. And you know what? This is going to be right up with the base of the covering. So we're solid, man. Well, you don't have covering. Because that. You have a door. Huh? You have a door. A what? You have a door. You, you think I'm going to put a door on this? <laughs> no. I really don't care. It's going to be a little groove cut out like this and then a circle. There you go. <laughs> that, that's my door. <laughs> no, she's staying wide open. I'm not going to be messing with a freaking door. All right. Okay, the piece is done, and I decided to make one because I've only got enough material to, to do it right. Uh, twice, hopefully. Okay, here's what we've got with a little bit of an offset, and with the wheel on up, we've taken the wing, we've got clearance, probably, I don't know, maybe 16th to an eighth of an inch of clearance uh, on the top for the top sheeting, and about the same on the bottom. And this part here will sit flush with the, the sheeting on the bottom. So. Um, yeah, so this one worked out perfect. Let's go ahead and get it put in here and give it a little bit of a quick test just so we can all see what happens. So I'd like to have it sit a little bit deeper in the well, but um, I've got this piece here. I've got the rod set a little bit farther back than I need it. So I can squeak it out probably about another sixteenth of an inch, but it's still going to be giving me the... Uh, the amount of clearance I was looking for, which was about five and a half, and that is going to be right on the right on the dot, five and a half inches. So, okay, so we've got everything plugged in, ready to go, and test. Oh, hang on. User error. There we go, and test. She's a down back up and it's good i just got to do a little bit of shaving here because of the change i made and uh it is ready to go so we'll just make sure that when it's put in here um it's going to be so it's going to be as tight to the to the front as i can get it and still have the clearance um so i do have a little bit of wiggle room as you can see so when it comes time to once i get it sheeted and i mount it in there i'm going to work with this this wiggle room to get it uh to get it rock solid but we should be right about there so we're about an eighth inch off the leading edge probably about a quarter inch off the uh, side of the fuse so we should be good all right one more to go okay i know you're all sitting at home watching youtube saying did he ever get the gear finished oh yeah Okay, that part's done. That's about six hours of work. So, uh, yeah, never give up. And those things are set up so that I'm going to be able to sheet it and everything works just splendidly. So, all right, anyway, 
I got to get out of the shop for a while, so I'll see you uh, probably later on today. We'll come down. We'll go back to uh, starting to do some of the sheeting um, and see how close we can get to where I'm going to start doing some sanding on that. So, um, be back here in a couple hours.